Rave Nation. Welcome to another episode of The Love Shack. I'm your host, Big Al, Doctor of Love. And I'm your co-host, Charmer Charles. Good evening, Albert. Good evening, Charles. Right here is the man of the hour, Just John. Ladies well, man, Just John. You can't have The Love Shack without the ladies man. <laughs> there you go. No, you're telling the truth. I like There that. you go. The ladies man, Just John's here. He's going to talk about his uh, upcoming match on August 24th at Revolution Rules at the Metro Sports Center. That's on a Saturday night, August 24th. 5820 Metro Drive here in Amazon, Indiana, bell time 7.30 p.m. So, Charles, I'll tell you what, you're the king of the interviews. You want to get her started? Well, yeah, I do, Albert. I'm just going to say welcome back, bro. It's good to Thank see you, man. It's, it's been a, a while. It's a pleasure you know? to be back in NFW. John and Al and I, we all worked together a long time ago. John, I'm just going to get right to the point because I think it's really cool. Something changed your life. Yes. Tell us about it. Having a kid. Yes, sir. Baby boy, Owen, changed my life best thing that's ever happened to me. Now, he's not such a baby now. Seven years, <laughs> seven years old. And he loves he, he gonna, his He's going to be the ladies man, Junior? Uh, he, he's <laughs> working on his gimmick now. He's I think he's got gold in his eyes. He loves wrestling, doesn't he? Yes, he, he loves wrestling and it's in his blood. And um, he'd be the second generation there ladies you go. man. There you go. Well, John, let me ask you something. Like I said, you took a while off and that's understandable raising a child. But what have you been doing other than have you been keeping up on your wrestling game and you know training or whatever in the meantime? Or? I've uh, been keeping up, keeping my cardio, lifting a little bit, mm -hmm. but uh, staying in tune with uh, the independent circuit, who's hot, who's not, right. and who I should focus on, and uh, it, it's it's been good. My time off, you know, to go find myself and where I need to be in life and. I'm back on the independent circuit and a uh, great place to call NFW home. There you go. Yes, it is. And uh, I want to tell you, I was there for your return against Sebastian Arrows. That was a great match. It was it a good was. match. Uh, he was supposed to show up and he didn't. I don't know. I would understand about. if my name was against my name on the chalk. And I wouldn't <laughs> show up either. But anyway, <laughs> you uh, faced a young man, Kyle, uh, Kyle Maverick. Yeah. Tough little competitor there. Might be a lot of you with the spunk back in the day, you know. Yeah. He's he's definitely wanting to make a mark. He's cocky. So what do you what do you think about him as a as a wrestler? As a wrestler, he's got the look. He's got the he he's got everything a wrestler would need, but he cheats. That's it. If you could cheats. just get focused. Get focused. Stop cheating. Walk the straight and narrow. There you go. And uh, give the fans what they want. You know, I think so many young guys, I did it, you did it, and you did it. You, you know, you think, well, I'm going to take this shortcut and get there. But in the meantime, you know, you're, you're turning your back on the number one, which is the fans. Mm -hmm. And without those fans, we wouldn't be doing this, you know. <laughs> and it's in your blood, man. It's just, you know, it's never going away. So you realize that. You know, I had a change of heart. Uh, I don't know if you was keeping up with that, but I, I couldn't see my little buddy get hurt. You know, I mean, Al and I have had our differences, but there's no way I'm going to let somebody sit there and just beat him down. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm glad for all <laughs> my years seeing Al with Master Rich as his yeah. little chauffeur, little gopher boy, <laughs> whatever you call it. I know, I know, I know. And I'm glad you've seen the light. Yeah, me too. Oh, yeah. You've seen the light, and you're a fan favorite, and, and you, you know, I'm... I applaud you for what you've done, broke away out yeah. of the shadow of him and made yourself <laughs> who you are. Yeah, I've actually... He still has a hard time, though. I'm so glad you're here tonight. <laughs> you know, do you know how hard it is sitting there with that ego? You're not sitting with two. Oh, yeah. You're oh sitting with an ego this big. Oh, and John's what's yeah. hard. Come on. Giant you guys Richard. know me. Some oh. know me, some don't. But I'm going to tell you this. This episode will be the highest rated on Facebook, on YouTube. You guys are going to talk about it. Your mom's <laughs> going to talk about it. Your grandma, your sister, your aunt, your grandpa, and everybody else. Remember, the 24th, right? August 24th. August 24th, $5 tickets across the board. Bring the whole family. You got a family of five, that's 25 bucks. You know, I guarantee a family show, a great show, and you will leave and want to come back to see the best show in a 30-mile radius in Evansville, Indiana, 
New Focus Wrestling. Not to mention, Wild Eyed Southern Boy. Tracy Smothers. Coming yeah. back in, baby. And Everybody speaking of that, that five-hour kick, and Mama Red sent us a message. I'm going to read it real quick. It's okay. Love you, Mama. Yeah, this is from Mama Rich. It said, it's that time of year again where the kids go back to school, and we know how expensive school books, school supplies, and fees, and school clothes can be. So to show our appreciation and our support for our kids' education and our appreciation to our fans in the NFW Nation, we will lower our prices of admission for our August 24th event at Revolution Rules to $5 for all seats. We hope you can take advantage of the special pricing and come watch a great event with all your favorite NFW superstars. And thank you for your support of NFW and see you August 24th. Signed, Mama Rich. So there you go. Like you said, five dollar tickets. Five dollars. Five dollars. Hey, you know what about dollars to get us? Oh yeah. So Why? thank you, Mama Rich. Five dollars <laughs> used to get us. Now, five dollars used to get us a lot of things. A whole trouble. night of satisfaction. <laughs> trouble. There you go. Now we straight and narrow. <laughs> We've seen how the match ended in your match, uh, our last event, and uh, we the kind of dirty tactics. Calm down, Charles. You okay? Yeah. He's got, got that calm Have you ever been a weed eater match? Yes. <laughs> God bless J.C. Bailey. There God you go. God bless you, baby. There you go. So explain to us the kind of match you and Kyle's going to have. You said the gimmick on a pole match. So explain, explain to the NFL Nation what kind of match that's going to be. Well, apparently, while I was going for the twist of fate, he said, Kyle. Kyle Maverick. He's new to the business. A couple years in the business. He's still got to walk that ladder and travel them highways to get his name known. So <laughs> I'm going for the finish. You know, we've had a good match. He's a strong little man, you know. A little bit more to go, psychological-wise. But um, he pulled something out of his tights. Well, I don't know where he pulled them out of. And hit me with something. Now, I've been hit with a lot of things. He caught me. Stunned, you know, that's okay. I was prepared for Sebastian Stardust. I'm not making any. He beat me. Cheated, but he beat me. But there's another day, August 24th. Five dollar tickets. Cross the board, baby. I'll cross the board. Gimmick on a pole. We're going to take what a 15, 20 foot pole yeah. up and we're going to put his little gimmick on a pole. And the first one that climbs up those turnbuckles and up that pole gets to use that weapon. And if anybody in this tri-state knows, I love weapons. Oh, yeah. We've seen a lot of them. Magic. Weed eaters, baby. <laughs> I don't think Kyle will go for a weed eater, but if he yeah. will, I'll put it on a pole. You better be prepared, so. Because I can ever... kick some bu Can I cuss? Huh? Can I cuss? Oh, yeah. no, no. He said butt. That's no, okay. I said butt. Okay. That's cool. PG-13, G-rated, or R-rated? PG-13. PG-13, <laughs> so I can't cuss. Just no nudity. There you go. <laughs> With the Love Shack, I mean, come on, we might have women coming all I am, the ladies, man, and we're at the Love Shack. I know, got I these know. two guys, Big Al. <laughs> Hello, girls. Come on, man. <laughs> okay, you heard it from the Charm ladies. Charm Charles. Charles. Woman, I mean. Charm and Charles is in the house, guys. In the, the house. Charming one, the 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 can't students. go wrong. Three students. <laughs> Ratings. That's what so, it is. Ladies man against Cobb Maverick in the gimmick on a pole match. So I hope Kyle's ready because... I do too. He's going to be in for one heck of a fight because we've seen what John's capable of doing. So, also we got some other matches. Uh, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Uh, we want to congratulate Chloe on becoming the NFW Ooh. Women's Champion. Chloe. I know. Chloe. But, make, but making her NFW return to challenge Chloe for a title is none other than Lady Vendetta. Hey, you know what? What's that? I saw to that. You saw Lady Vendetta? Hang on right. No, I saw to getting her in here. Oh. I was told to get the best that I could get. That's right. And I got her. So Lady Chloe better be, on her, better, better be on her, uh, I guess, A game, whatever. I mean, because she's going to be in for one fight because Lady Vendetta used to be the NFW Women's Champion. Chloe is now. And she's great. Yeah. And she knows how to move, so, you know. Chloe's an up-and-coming star. She's getting up there. Up and she's going to have to travel them roads and, and, and the right. hard times and, and, and go from the bottom <laughs> to the top. Yep. And I think she went to the top too quick. But she earned the championship. Yep. And she got to retain it when she takes on Lady Vendetta, which It'll is going to be a very great hard match. And I will be watching. Make sure that little twerp, Master Rich, 
Johnny Richards, whatever they call him. <laughs> well, you know when she's around, he's gonna be something. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And these eyes. Yeah. But we got we got other matches that's already been confirmed. Of course, we know uh, the hardcore kind of mad, Madman Pondo, our buddy's taking on Cliff Compton in a street fight. And Cliff wanted this. I I don't know what was on his mind when I he wouldn't have been surprised that didn't wind up on Green River Road, man. I know. It, That's worth five dollars alone. Yeah, I think that, that, oh, it's gonna be one heck of a match. You know how Pondo is, you know. He loves these kind of matches. He, he don't want see no a road. different side of Cliff though so this I, time. So it's yeah, it's gonna be something else. It's gonna be crazy. Oh also SOL wanted a title shot, so they got it. So SOL, uh, Anthony Blaze, Scotty Wolf. Are going to take on the River City Saints for the NFW tag title. Tempest and Johnny Whiplash. Johnny Whiplash and Tempest. Aren't them the belt marks? They're the belt marks. They're the belt marks. You say that? That's all I'm doing. Straightforward guy. <laughs> Straightforward guy. <laughs> so that's been made. River City Saints will defend yeah, well. the titles against SOL for the NFW tag title. So that's gonna be that's gonna be another good match. Big Al has seen the light. I'm sorry. <laughs> Tom and Charles has always seen the light, but it was in a different color. There you go. <laughs> it was a different color. Well, you were with me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Johnny all Richards. Passed. Johnny Richards. Your Tracy SW Smarts, baby. heavyweight champion Johnny Richards will take on the dangerous one, Doug Gilbert. So that's you know. <laughs> that should be the match of the night. That's going to be a great that, match. Baby. We don't know how tough Doug is, so we've got that 36 ounce uh, Louisville Slugger. Against, you know, upside Richard's head might knock the sense into him. But so. you know what, though? He What's might that? have somebody sitting out in the crowd or something. You can't trust Johnny Rich. Oh, no, know, you cannot. He might have. You never know what he's got. He, he, uh, he's got so much. He's got deep pockets. Yep. He can pay off anybody. He's got that. He's, was it, was, was he from uh, England? That little snobby, you know, personality. How he was brought in the business by Chris Champion. Yeah. So I definitely the know richest boarding school all in New England. You might see a heavy set lady over there eating a pretzel and a hot dog, <laughs> and they take it out there and she just pulls something out and boom. boom. There you go. You never know. Never you know. never know what never may know. happen in his match. But again, it, you know, Johnny Richard taking on Dangerous Doug. Um, he better have some help. He might need it with Dangerous uh, with Doug. That's out worth there. five dollars. That's though. also worth five. That's seeing right. Doug Gilbert is worth five dollars. There you go. Now Very legacy tradition. We, NFW, you got Tracy Smothers, a legend. Yep. You got Doug Gilbert, a Son legend. Son of a legend. Son Brother of a legend. legend. Brother a legend. Yeah. Legends. Legend. Tradition. Respect. These people that Rich is fighting at his shows, he's kept his title for how long? He's had it for a few months. A few months. Uh, he's had it for about a year or so That's, off and on. He's oh, yeah. had to beat some of the best names in the wrestling business well, today straight up, and man. in the past. You could go Doug Gilbert, top name in the business. There you go. Pondo, top name. Tracy Smothers, Domino. You got Al. Charmer Charles. <laughs> Just the John man. the ladies man. <laughs> okay. Now, as we notice also, Iron Man... Rob Conway's match, the number one contender match against Vic, became, uh, came victorious. I think uh, one of the members of the uh, coalition was kind of involved in that. And Daniel after Rob kind of made a uh, you know, bad choice by hitting Vic. But nonetheless, uh, Rob's going to be the number one contender. But uh, something happened right when he was walking back. Uh, <laughs> they called him the Iron Baron. Made a challenge to Iron Rob. Baron. And uh, we talked to Rob, he accepted the challenge. So, uh, the Iron Baron versus the Iron Man, August 24th. That match there is going to be a great match. Did you see too. that? That was kind of scary. He was walking back and he was already bum fuzzled, and here comes the Baron now. Yeah, man. Intimidation, man. <laughs> He's something else. So, again, the Iron time. Man versus the Iron Baron. Rob Conway, legend, WWE. There you go. Been to the big dance. Been to the big dance. You know dance. something I found yeah. out about the Baron? Did a little research. I got a computer and everything. Right there. 20, not just a hat. Right now. Twenty-two years in this business. Yeah. He ran the Crockett area. Really? Yeah. Back in the day, he sure did. Cool. He's been around a long time, so you know he's got some uh, sneaking his trick back. <laughs> watch him and watch my back when I'm in a locker room. And he there also was around the great Grandpa Rasky. So really? Yeah. Educational oh. show too. 
There you go. Oh, right down the line, man. Now the match that uh, I don't know if I would say I'll be waiting for, but uh, uh, Chad Stallings takes on yours truly, Big Al, in a fans pick the match match. <laughs> We're gonna let the fans pick the kind of match, and I don't know what kind of match you're gonna have, you know, to offer them. But uh, I tell you what, hopefully uh, I'll be ready for it. Al, I've seen you take some butt whoop. Oh. In my past oh, yeah. 15 plus years. From Pondo, Necro. <laughs> the Rough Riders, the Rough Pondo, Riders, Necro. War Machines, oh my gosh. Everybody you can think of that's come through the Evansville area, this man has been in their corner or their opponent's corner. Yeah. And if someone could take a butt whooping, <laughs> this man. Oh, but you know what Albert can give one to? I've been having him. Hey, you know, I have about a, his training, did you? I haven't lost a singles match in no. that I'm undefeated. I'm 8 Undefeated. No. 8 no. Goldberg ain't got nothing on this. There one. you go. I've been lost talking to his lovely wife, Penny, and we're getting some training strategy going, Albert. <coughs> Albert, do you have fear of heights? <coughs> what? Do you have fear of heights? A pair of what? No. <laughs> He needs one of those left-handed cigarettes. <laughs> fear of heights. Oh, fear. Oh, yeah. oh, I don't like heights. I have oh, well, to... you better get used to it. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to ask. I'm not going to ask. I'm going to try to finish You like snakes, Albert? Snakes. I heard that. I heard that. No, I don't like snakes. I don't what? like spiders or snakes. That ain't why it takes to love me. Thank you. Oh, so you got me all tongue tied. Did you give him something before I'm the show? I'm okay. not clean and sober. So, now. The news, the wild-eyed southern boy, Tracy Smothers, is making his NFW return. Now that he's making his right return, it. he's bringing his, his daughters with him, Jesse Bell and Isabel. Now that is worth $5 alone. And those I don't know if you didn't keep track of what's been going on. It's been kind of like a family feud between those two. Uh, yeah, they ain't getting along. That's for that. They're not getting along at all. And so uh, they, want, they want to settle their differences with the NFW, which I think is great. So uh, Isabel... And Jezebel taking on each other. That is what even makes it in there. They might beat one another day. Yeah, out in the parking lot. We might have to have security, of course. They can I have might <laughs> buy a $5 front row seat just to watch that. But Boys, Tracy Smothers. It's worth it. Oh, it, it's going to be great. We'll, be, we'll make its return. And I, it, yeah, we get a lot. Matter of fact, you know, NFW Nation Comment of the Week, Michael Willer, talked about that. He, he says that our last event was great. Chloe became an NFW Women's Champion. Johnny did great. J.P. Lightning did great. Just John Laysman did great. And he says, and Cliff Compton did great. It was great seeing Smart Mark Rivers, which I don't know about that, but the River City Saints did a good job. The Coalition, I ain't going to say what he said about the Coalition. I'll bleep it. So I'm looking forward to August 24th. I'm looking for the return of Tracy Smothers. Sell out yeah. smoking, sizzling smothers. That's, That's it, right. Baby. Better watch out. Everybody dies. I'll throw it up right there. <laughs> so, I mean, all that, like I said, Tracy going to be there. Jess and Isabel taking on each other. Chloe's take, defending her title. The Iron Man versus the Iron Baron. Big Al Chad Stallings. Rich against Doug. The Saints against the SOL for title. Pondo and Cliff. Just John taking on Kyle Maverick in the gimmick on a pole match. And that's just part of the card. We're going to have others there, too. So, I, I mean, it's going to be a great event. All for five bucks, thanks to Mama Rich. You know, because the back to school There's time. some good in that family. There Mama is. Mama Rich is good. There is. <clears throat> Mama Rich is a blessing. And I, I, I remember the first word she said to me when I, when I first met her. She goes, Al, get him out of them clothes and put him on some tights. <laughs> he was rousing in his polo shirt. <laughs> I did. I got him an outfit. Of course, I think it went to his brain. I don't know. But Something went there. <laughs> Again, August 24th. No August 24th, it all happens. Like I said, it's going to be a great card. I mean, you got special matches like the Gimme Gun Pole Match, the NFW title, the NFW tag titles, the women's titles on the line. I mean, the, you know, the fans picked a match kind of match, a street fight. All this happens on August 24th at uh, Revolution Rules at the Metro Sports Center. Again, 5820 Metro Drive here in Evansville, Indiana. Bell time 7.30 p.m. It's a Saturday night. Plus, all your merchandise will be there. The NFW merchandise, Love Shack merchandise. And we're going to end our contest on that show. Uh, on You know, get our shirts and stuff. And right now, Heather Heather, and uh, George Clancy are actually neck and neck in the, in the contest. They're on the Love Shack logo. So, hopefully, we'll have the winner. We will have the winner by August 24th show. And uh, I'm looking forward to that. Like I said, you got the concession stand, you got merchandise, you got great events, all seats, five bucks. 
I mean, you can't you can't beat it. Well, I mean, all, every match is, is like a main event. You know, it's either special stipulations, a title match. You know, it, it's going to be great. I mean, it's not like that far said, away. Not that far. You got wrestling. Three weeks. No, you got no. You got four weeks. Four wrestling weeks. of the past, the present, and the future. That's Absolutely. right. All at this show. Here you go. Like I said, this is the best wrestling company in a 30-mile radius. Evansville, Indiana. New Focus Wrestling. Home of Just John, Charmin Charles, Big Al. And uh, there is no wrestling company in this town better than NFW. We, we, take, pride in, we take pride in NFW and we thank Mama Rich for Five dollar seats. Yep. Can't go nowhere All and watch us for five dollars. Nowhere. Be there. There you go. You can't take your kids see Monster University there. Uh, that's <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's nice. Well, I know. I got a seven year old. We want to tell we wanna, somebody. There you go. We want to thank uh, the ladies' man for being here. Thank you. It was for good having to see you. Good to see you return, and we look forward to seeing August twenty fourth. Hey, I don't want this to be my only. Love shack. Oh no, you're welcome back full time. The love shack. Oh no, no! Can't have the love shack without we'll, the I'm ladies. We'll have you back again. We'll have Can you I back bring again. women? Huh? Can I bring women next time? I ha I kept them in the car. Hey, it's awful hot in the car, ain't it? Well, okay. <laughs> uh, just have to sit over there. I don't want Penny to get my wife. Hey, speaking of sitting over there, would you mind sitting here for a minute? Yeah. Switch chairs, thanks. Switch chairs. Oh, I'm hooked. I'm hooked, man. He's hooked. Look. Hey, I'm hooked. I can't help. I'm, I'm not hooked. Really you got to be worried about wondering what's going on. Oh, you're hooked. He's hooked. Yeah, I'm hooked. He's hooked. You hooked on the He's got a chain. I got a chain. That, hey, was that? All right. No, no, no I didn't get enough to call Maverick. Hey, about Charles, it's our years. No, you come here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is my buddy Albert right here. Now, I want to tell you something. Last year, unfortunately, I had a heart attack. And it's a scary thing. And I didn't, I, as most wrestlers and musicians, I didn't have any insurance or anything. And by the grace of God and God, it's my buddy Albert and all my friends got in and they had a benefit for me. And I was able to have stints. I'm able to be here cutting up with you guys. Now I might start tearing up. God bless this it. man. But I'm going to tell you something. My buddy Albert's in the same predicament right now. It's not life threatening, but. He needs a hearing aid. As you saw a while ago, you know, he couldn't hear it. It's not a kind of joke, but I mean, it's not funny. But yeah. anything we're going to do, uh, I'm talking to my stepdaughter now. Last year, we had a fund set up for, uh, for myself, and you could just put whatever, you know. And we raised a little bit of money, a whole lot of money, to help get my uh, stints put in. And everybody was generous. And then we had a show up in Nashville, and, uh, or down in Nashville, I should say. All wrestlers came out from NFW and they made it a success. And I want you to do the same for my little buddy. And we'll make some. We'll, we'll be telling you more about it. But find it in your hearts again, and I'll have information next week on the uh, on the uh, uh, bank account to set up or some name they call it, but I call it a bank. But anyway, you can put money in it in a dollar, five dollars, anything you can do to help my buddy, man. I appreciate it. And uh, Albert. We've been down the road together, brother. It's been a pleasure working. And, and we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna see this thing through. Cause I, I get tired of screaming. Can you hear me? My <laughs> <laughs> dog over here hey, wants to be on the love shack. Fifteen years ago, I could have thought you was in that little realm I was in, but you're straight and narrow. Y'all, he's straight and narrow all the Straight and narrow. Straight and narrow. Who would have thought? Yeah. Fifteen years later. These three guys. No master rich. Straight and narrow. <laughs> no gimmicks needed. And I'm high on life. Can you high imagine if I was doing anything mind altering? I'm crazy as it is. I know. How the hell's right as it is? Tell us about Love dogs. The love dogs. Five dollars. Right. I, I, thank you, Charles. Thank you very much. Thank you, John, for being here. It's been great. Uh, we're getting some good matches. Uh, it's going to be awesome. Uh, three, four weeks away. Four weeks away, man. Uh, I got four weeks of training. That's going to go quick because the okay. school is starting up here to quit real quick. So One uh, other thing. Once you see this on the internet, share it with everybody. There you go. Share it with your friends, your, your grandmama, family, anybody. Her anybody. neighbor, Miss Osborne, and stuff, and gives you the <laughs> there you go. cucumbers. I tell you what, everybody. Charles, you know, you know what time it is. Don't it's you? time right now, baby. <laughs> Just remember this, NFW Nation. Don't fight amongst yourself. All you got to do is fight amongst yourself.